Personal list here, we have some pretty disappointing news. I should have reported on a few weeks ago, but you know, I kind of missed it, so please forgive me. But it's regarding Printworks, one of the premier nightclubs we have here in London, is unfortunately closing down due to the local council deciding that they want to prioritize, you know, fucking flats and buildings made out of glass and steel again uh, instead of a cultural community space like a nightclub that basically you know brings loads of people from surrounding areas or all over the world to that area of london to celebrate under that roof the culture of dance music and to kind of give something back to local community as well by going to local shops and all that good stuff right they want to replace that all with flipping shiny buildings and it's just annoying it really is gentrification sucks so badly and it's a shame too because I feel like over the last few years we've suddenly we suddenly started to get a bit of head of steam in terms of actual clubs um, building a little cl culture or community around them and then out of nowhere quite a few of them have kind of closed back to back and enough some of them are not going to reopen or some of them are struggling to find a new space in terms of the cause and whatnot and it's just annoying to see this it really really is because we don't we seem to do one step forward and then three or four steps backwards when it comes to club culture in the UK nothing ever ever lasts forever and even the and the thing that's weird about the print works is like it's one thing if it was like an underground club in Dawson, an underground club in Tottenham, an underground club in Peckham, New Cross, I don't know, Stanmore, whatever you may be called. This is like a pretty commercial club in terms of its lineup, right? They pick some pretty big hitters in terms of people who want to play there on a weekly basis. Um, the most generic kind of dance music you could kind of basically know will basically be played at, you know, print works. And they have, you know, they, they basically hire the place out for movies and stuff. Obviously, you've seen it featured in the Batman, but they have different adverts to get film in there. Loads of conferences and panel discussions and sometimes art exhibitions. It's a space that's been really, they, they, they've squeezed as much as they can of it in terms of commercially, right? And still, they couldn't fend off the powers that be in terms of local council. So if, so you have to wonder, if you're a, if you're a kind of future pers perspective um, club owner who kind of has some plans you know you write down on the back of a beer mat when you're with your friends out somewhere and you're thinking yeah man I could do this thing I could open a club and really set the mood and kind of bring something new and exciting to London you have to kind of scratch your head and maybe think twice because if print works couldn't make it happen what gives you the right to think that you can make it happen you know what I mean they had all the commercial um all the commercial success behind them and still they couldn't fend off the powers that be it's absolutely crazy but anyway Kurt Shivari News it says as follows Suffolk Council has officially approved the plan meaning the club will shut for good Printworks is officially set to close following a decision by the Suffolk Council to go ahead and redevelopment last October the owner of the property British Land submitted a proposal to redevelop the land and turn the current location of the club into office space fucking hell so, it was all, so, so basically either it was always a temporary space anyway or there was a thinking it was going to stay permanent, but then for some reason they decided to just change their mind and build some fucking, build, build some flats and whatnot. I guess if you're a cold-hearted business person, just looking at the money, considering we had a pandemic, it's probably beneficial to be like, what's going to be more permanent, a nightclub or some, some kind of, some housing? And most probably the, the housing will probably be there far more on a far more permanent basis than a club will because obviously clubs were the first things to close when the pandemic started and the last to open so if you're a hard-nosed business person then maybe it, it does make sense to be like you know what let's just go for the fucking commercial buildings because people are always going to need to work people are always going to need to live but they're not you know what i mean no one kind of um in this society anyway they think like clubbing is basically a luxury it's not something that people actually need which they actually do because a lot of people suffer from mental health issues during that whole peak of the pandemic where we had nowhere to go which i mean um, i know i did anyway it continues despite a 10,000 strong petition they never work the wider industry adv advocacy this week Suffolk Council approved the plan meaning the club will close for good according to Suffolk News in the recommendation the council has noted the success of the 6,000 capacity venue which opened in 27 but also said that the use of the former Ludwig Prince facility was, was always temporary with the plan to redevelop the long in the work so as per usual what they always do they it, gentrification feels a little bit like um, culture vulture sort of stuff right they basically come in and they use the resources of the local community to garner a bit of cool points to kind of appeal to get people kind of talking about that space again or that area then as soon as that area starts to pop up again because there are some people out there i wouldn't do it myself but some people out there who basically decide 
on where they're going to live based on the clubs that are there, based on the local shops, based on transport connections. Those kind of all play into the decision making of where they're going to buy a new flat or where they're going to rent or sometimes even set up a business. So that whole place must be popping now right off the back of print works in some respects. Right. Even though South and that kind of council is always kind of, you know, on the up and up when it comes to the arts. But I'm sure print works added to it. So they use it for all the juice and the clout kind of tokens that they can. And in the moment they don't need it anymore, they dash it to the side and then bring in all the flipping uppity, wuppities, nobbets to come in and rent these fucking absurd flats that no one's going to live in that are just going to blend into all the other flats all over the place that look exactly the same. Loads of glass, loads of steel, no innovation, no ingenuity behind it. Nothing that's going to appeal to, you know, the local community, nothing that's going to serve the local community, nothing that's going to serve people who are basically underrepresented or people that don't really have any homes in that kind of area or people who are still on the temporary housing list in terms of local council. None of people are going to be serviced. It's all going to be foreign investors coming in and basically buying all those places up and then renting them for exorbitant prices to us people like myself do you know i mean like what they call it um young professionals and whatnot it's absolutely heinous it really is heinous the replacement of print works will consist of a free part building ranging to five to seven stories featuring a six mix of offices and retail Ooh, we've never seen that before have we we've never seen that before as part of the larger canada water redevelopment master plan last year britain's bland also told survey that it was a talks with print works operator broadwork live saying that it recognizes them as a key collaborator and tenant following their success of Primo's over the last five years and that culture will play an important part for the new episode to fuck off well so what are they going to do they're going to build like a little kiosk remembering print works a little kind of information point at one point this place used to be a nightclub now it's not you know what I mean like go and fuck yourself man and it's annoying because I remember when when Fold first opened up and I remember I think I talked about it in my first review when Fold first opened as much as I was incredibly excited about Fold because I legitimately am from Canning Town Custom House right I'm from that area I went to schools in that area and I'm, I now used to remember living in my mum's house and having to basically jump on the number 5 bus or get the 25 and go, get, go into Central or go into Central East or go into kind of Trendy East and Dawson and Hackney to go and rave I remember having to do those kind of missions all the time so to suddenly see a neck club playing techno music around the corner from where i used to live around the corner from where i used to do my runs and stuff was fucking blowing my mind so i was that hyped about it but the other thing that made me so hyped about fold was i was thinking you know what this could be because it was going to be the first kind of 24-hour club which didn't really transpire they kind of have they kind of have some 24-hour nights but it's not always a 24-hour club it's just a you know a club that opens until six but it's still one of the only ones that does that i was under the thinking that this could be a good sort of a proving ground to show that it's needed because Cane Town is still a bit of a far flung place. It's not it's not trendy East London, right? It's not Shoreditch, it's not Hackney. Um, it's not all these kind of cool places it's still a bit out of the way to kind of get to even though it's kind of it's kind of coming up a bit now and there's people trendy hipster type people moving in it still is a bit of a place mission to go to so i thought if this could work this could maybe show other councils that if they have buildings such as where fold is which is essentially in the middle of an industrial park because i remember i used to go next to where fold is they, they used to be a dhl collection point and when i used to order shoes or resell shoes or buy resale shoes from back in the day i used to always pick up my um my parcels from that collection point because the delivery drivers wouldn't ever deliver to my house because my house was blacklisted because of all the fucking robberies and because i grew up in a bit of a rough area so I thought to myself, if other local councils could see that those industrial areas where there's basically nothing happening there, there's loads of empty spaces or whatnot, just lend those spaces to clubs and let them kind of redevelop them and bring new life to that area, bring some money to the local community or the local you know economy because you get people buying from the local off licenses or going to the local McDonald's or going to the to fast food place or whatever maybe just hang or maybe even get in apartments and homes there because it won't be necessarily a club that would be like a good thing and we could have essentially a fold in north a fold in west a fold in south because in each part of london we have those kind of industrial parks they exist right they're a bit outside of the area but they always exist where you basically have um factories you have offices you have you know business addresses and stuff where you have you know postal collection points or you have bus garages they exist everywhere and those places are usually far away from residential areas too so you can essentially not worry that much about noise pollution so i thought that was what would happen and then it didn't obviously transpire because you know one of the biggest clubs in london in print works is now having to close because the local council is saying they prefer flats over clubs that are actually providing something you know beneficial you know and substantial to local community and stuff it's just really really sad and really disappointed to be honest but again i shouldn't be surprised but it's just a shame yeah you know i mean nothing can really grow there's no real 
there's no real kind of onus to kind of build out the club culture here in London. It's just whatever happens, whatever comes around, you go to it. That's why it's important, actually, to go back to that. So it's important. Whatever space is around, whatever club that you do like, support them as much as possible when they're open and when they're around. Go to them, attend them, go to as many nights as you can over there, spend some money, tip the bartenders, whatever it may be, because you never know when these clubs are going to close. You never honestly know. Nothing ever lasts forever in the UK. Not forever, but it never lasts for like a long time. There's no institutions here. Do you know what I mean? Apart from what, Ministry of Sound or something, everything else always kind of falls by the wayside. It's super, super annoying. It really is, man. It kind of drives me crazy, but I guess it's a standard kind of, standard um, um, cause and effect of living in London. 